<laughs> Greetings all, Shane Bruce, Rest of my Daisy. Here to tell you about some things you can do to your classic metal trigger, high pivot lever, bottle cap daisy to give yourself a little bit more flexibility. Uh, these guns were originally designed to, to run with this type of shot tube. It's called a gravity feed system because it relies on gravity to feed BBs into this little chute to line them up with the chamber to allow them to be fired out of the gun. Okay, so that's a rattle trap or gravity feed shot tube system. The cool thing about them is they're threaded. So you can actually pull them out of the gun and stick them back in. This enables you with this style of daisy to have some variety, have some options. It is entirely possible to take a 700 shot daisy that relies on gravity feed and convert it to a 50 shot daisy that does not by merely substituting the new model 25 shot tube for the old bottle cap design. They have the same threads, which is a 716 14 coarse thread, about three showing typically, and they bolt right in. You just drop them down the tube, thread them on, three turns, and you're done. Now, what that means is if you've got the chops and the desire to have a daisy that shoots airsoft pellets or cork balls, we've got a solution for you. This is what the final product looks like. It is the same length as the factory tube. It has a 7 16s by 14 bolt that's been drilled and mounted to an old airsoft barrel, an eight millimeter airsoft brass tube. Very nice piece of equipment. This would be considered a tight bore in airsoft lingo because it's 6.1 millimeters in diameter. The crown is constructed of two nuts, a three quarter nut and a three eight nut that have been tack welded together. And then the interior section is a 3 8 thread, so the barrel is big enough to allow you to run a 3 8 die down it and cut threads, thread it in. Same on this side, but because the 7 16 14 started out as an automotive bolt from AutoZone, what you've got to do is you've got to drill a hole through it as centered as you can. Then you got to cam for both sides of the hole because this is the side that will present toward the plunger face. And then you need to cut it so you've got like three or so threads showing. Then you take your threaded brass tube, and this one is not a tight bore. It hasn't got the wall thickness. But if it was a tight bore, you could thread this into that. And then, oh, let me grab another part. And then take a completed assembled section and thread it into that. Let's see how that's a little sloppy. But you would wind up with an air tube that you can put in your daisy that allows you to shoot air soft six millimeter diameter BBs or half inch cork balls because you're going to bore this out to a half inch diameter right there. See how that's been turned. So now this gun can shoot muzzle load single shot airsoft BBs at around 400 feet per second, which is blazing fast. It's faster than a gun will shoot a BB. Or you can install thumb push in a um, folded tin foil bullet or a cork ball. Now they don't move 